Hey girl. Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and in this video, I'm going to be doing your general messages for the coming week. And like with any type of general reading, I always ask you to rely on your intuition because I could be talking about a relationship. And in your case, in specific Aquarius, it could be talking about uh, some type of uh, work or not work, uh, some type of family or like marriage situation, right? So that's where the, your intuition is kind of reliant in that regard of where it's up to you to be able to decipher how the cards are meant to be uh, relate to you um but if this reading is helpful to you let me know in the comments below how it's resonant to you i would i always love hearing about your guys's lives and how like the cards coordinate in your life if this reading does give you a sense of direction though um please give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much and i really would appreciate it but uh let's just jump into your reading right now so i have your two basic rows for your messages and then i have your last row for instance for uh it's a suggestion from spirit for what you need to be working on this week aquarius so uh let's just go into it and i'm going to be pulling clarifiers as i feel it's needed which apparently is already needed for you uh but we have let me go and see your cards first we have the king of water and this is asking you to open up your heart this is the time for you to really start considering um the possibility with people start considering that someone uh, start a c considering a connection i'm hearing maybe i feel as if like the, for some people there's like a connection that they're not considering or like working with somebody or maybe like uh pursuing even just like a friendship just building some type of energetic rapport with somebody maybe you're holding yourself back from it um for some people this could just be a situation of where you don't want to deep dive with yourself and figure out parts of yourself this really heavily at this point goes into shadow work but uh yeah let's just see let's continue on we have the nine of fire asking you to not give up on something so yeah it's like not give asking you to like give something a second chance give someone a second chance maybe or, or some something a second chance or maybe not necessarily framing it in the way of saying like a second chance aquarius this could be talking about a uh not giving up and uh like because this talk card says king of wires saying like seeing your eyes to the possibilities i believe well it should it doesn't but I see the King of Water as like seeing the your eyes to the possibilities of what could happen. And then we have your last card, Page of Fire, saying like newsome and exciting endeavors. So this is already kind of saying to me, Aquarius, that's like, don't give up because new exciting things are happening. So open your heart, like be, get in touch with yourself. Maybe like figure out why it is that you feel like wanting to quit on something. Figure, like, figure out why it is that you feel whatever it is, right? Why isn't your cup feeling full right now? Maybe you need to do something that fulfills you this week, Aquarius. Maybe you're just feeling exhausted this week and it's just like, uh, if you need to just take a moment, take this week to just take a break, that's perfectly okay. I feel like this week really for you, Aquarius, it's time for you to just be selfish and start healing yourself. And by healing yourself, I mean kind of letting go of things that are no longer serving you. Your eight of um, wands here with your ace of cups as well. Like figure out what you need to let go of so you can fulfill it, start filling up your cup and start feeling fulfilled again Aquarius um we have the lover's card for you so this is definitely going to be a two-way parter and a message of where it's like for some people this could be in regards to like I said like where it's like giving this person another chance Aquarius this is what the king of water is talking about opening your heart maybe this is just practicing like asking you to come from a place of compassion as well Aquarius this could easily be giving me the energy of like learning to let go of a situation of letting learning to let go of someone that just hurt you maybe just disappointed you maybe it's asking you to let go of them because okay yeah this is what i'm getting because i don't want to just say like oh give them a second chance one you'll already know if you are choosing to take yourself out of the situation you'll know how it works for you right i never want someone to like continue a potential co toxic connection because they just see a man with some cards and me saying just like oh yeah just give it a chance no this is again relying on your intuition at this point aquarius but what i am saying is this energy in like this first row apparently i feel really passionately about it since i'm slamming my little table um i need to calm down i got this at a thrift store it might just bust down in front of me uh but what this spread is saying <laughs> gemini is that uh don't come at this from such a defeated energy so this could be like a defeated energy or this could be like a uh yeah just like a defeated energy because of this card your um nine of fire says not to give up um so this could be like a not feeling defeated energy or just not wallowing in sadness um you know beautiful um waning moon and the new moon in scorpio work through your fears and what do you, what what negativity do you need to release so this is giving me confirmation again aquarius and that like again heavy into shadow work this week for you similar to gemini but also 
what is it negative that you need to release with this person? What is it negative that you need to release with your own, maybe your own mind? Maybe your own mind is creating like this negative narrative with somebody, or maybe your mind is making making you think someone's a lot worse than what they are um, because they're like, whatever, because you're like overanalyzing a situation. Whatever your situation is, come at it from a place of more compassion. If not for you, if not for them, just for yourself and being able to just release this negative energy because I feel like it's weighing you down. There's so much uh, talking about releasing stuff. Like your eight of wands, you're letting go of things. Your new moon in Scorpio, really like figuring out what it is that you need to release. Or actually, this is working through your fears, but your waning moon talks about what it is that you need to release, Aquarius. So heavily, what is it that like, and make a decision on it, the lover's card. Maybe this is like a past relationship. Maybe like a past relationship traumatized you in some type of way. Let me not go into there, right? Maybe some of y'all are not ready for that conversation. But let's just loop into your second row now. Because yeah, I feel like you got, y'all kind of get the message in the query, uh, in the first row, Aquarius. I feel like I don't need to repeat myself in this regard. So Aquarius, like, okay, already clarifiers. Um, I feel like they're not at like human four. Um, so as I go into this, I'm going to start talking about your second row. So we have, there's your fourth. I knew it was there. So we were talking about your nine of earth. Um, we were talking about your nine of earth talks about in your first row, um, enjoying life's little luxuries and, um, spending quiet time alone. So yeah, this is like such a, spirit's really asking you to reset your mindset this week. Aquarius this is really kind of taking account for yeah I feel like you just need like a refresh of energies um I keep wanting feeling the urge to just like taking a deep breath cleansing deep breath in and out because I just feel like that's what you need to do right now I feel like you need to go out in nature in some type of way if possible even if it's just like you go I'm seeing someone just sitting on the ground I'm seeing someone with like long brown hair um with like a very like prominent like nose bridge <laughs> y'all don't care but I'm just seeing some type of per some person that's receiving this reading sitting on the ground in their yard like right in the front of their yard like crisscross applesauce I feel like that's what you guys need to do you need to like ground yourself in nature put your like take your shoes off take your socks off and put your feet into some dirt um <laughs> however like you know just connecting with nature in some type of way hugging a tree in that kind of way um continuing on though we have the renewal card archangel Jerome equaling number 20 equaling to two um write that down for numerology for you aquarius but this is talking about reviewing and evaluate a favorable favorable assessment of facts time to move in a new direction so yeah you're being asked to move on from something aquarius you're being asked to move on from something letting go of what's been holding you back that's been weighing your heart down aquarius and spending that quiet time alone figuring things out so you can come from a place of renew renewal so you can come from a place of a new because you need to yeah you need to get over clean out this old energy so you can welcome in something new i feel like so heavily that it's just like aquarius you're just like you're struggling right now and just running on fumes um queen of air talks about objective decision making clearing away all that no longer serves you so yeah again a cleansing time for you seeing the human in situation and all these cards the underlying theme for everything so far aquarius is asking you to shift your mindset overall that's what it means when it's just like a favorable assessment of facts you're having a, like a more positive view on everything you're not taking it personally you're not doing the facts pers personally or taking it in a negative way you're just like oh this is just here to shift me in a new direction right that's why the renewal card talks about a new direction you see these facts as like a being like just you trying to be shifted into a different direction rather than it feeling like a personal attack on you you see it for how it is you don't take it personally you don't internalize it you just allow it to redirect you where you need to go and you see how it's going to serve you in the long run and also just clearing away that just like again just so many cars asking you to cleanse so you can fill up your cup again i feel like your cup is just filled with a bunch of junk or a bunch of dunk and you need to release a bunch of it so you can like have like a nice flow again so you can really just be able to like breathe in and breathe out without like a bunch of resistance i feel like yeah i feel like some people just need to work on like <laughs> like their throat chakra and the heart chakra sacral chakra as well for you guys i feel uh aquarius you'd really benefit from that right now so let's go into your clarifiers i'm already i'm like <laughs> taking like holding on to this this is the fourth card that y'all if y'all were wondering that i felt like was coming out for you this is where it gets positive this is where it gets beautiful i felt this fourth card you know i normally do, i usually only just do do clarifiers in threes because three is my number um but for this fourth one i feel like you need to be reminded that there's a lot of greatness coming to you you're doing all this renewal process you're doing this reset aquarius for a reason it's for your world um, so yeah, we have the five of coins for you, in, which was inverted for you. Again, like a unique thing that I um, don't often do. 
but I feel like this card is inverted for you where it's just like you're just crying you're upset you're you taken a blow to something as well and it's just yeah something hurts you someone hurt you or getting over like a past situation past work relationship past like marriage or something because then we have the death card with the justice card so you're moving on from something something let go of you or you let go of it and you're going through this mourning period or maybe you're in the process of this death experience where it's just like you're just coming to terms with it but something's happening something a shift is happening for you like this is such like heavy energy in terms of like um yeah like just such a like you took a blow and it's just now like you're taking this moment to reset but it's just like this world card came in as a reminder like a lot of good is coming for you Aquarius. you're going through some heavy stuff you still have to do a little bit more shadow work but your energy your energy is catching up with a lot of the other zodiac signs aquarius uh so let's go into your last row here and see what messages we have for that um adjustments are required third quarter moon so yeah like how i was talking about a change in it like so many cards talking about a sense of direction being changed um adjustments being required or where you're going um you know all of that just like an, an overall shift you're not necessarily on the wrong path you're just like if you continue down this traje trajectory aquarius i feel as if like that's when you'll really get off you're like you're just starting to inch away so, like inch, inch away um if you correct yourself you, you'll be completely fine um but yeah we have for your last row we have the king of discs we have the three of discs and then we have the nine of swords definitely some type of relationship so whether it's like a work situation or a relationship some type of relationship really shook you to your core um and what this is telling me is just like don't sit on this energy this is that's just really what this is about it's like don't sit on this energy don't allow yourself to feel disempowered aquarius don't allow some some type of situation don't allow some type of person that maybe gaslit you or like whatever i don't know your story don't disempower yourself figure out why it is um things happen from a non-personal way and just allow it to adjust you as i was saying um, I pulled the platypus card saying stop complaining and pay attention to the blessings in your life. Very just like brutally honest card and gets straight to the point. I'm not trying to invalidate your spirit's not trying to invalidate your feelings and what you're going through right now, Aquarius. What spirit's really trying to do is just being like, hey, like it's kind of like that tough love situation and being like, hey, like, sorry we're going through this right now, but it's like we need to keep this going. We need to get like the show must go on, sort of thing. Um you know, your world is waiting for you. Um, so don't give up. <laughs> yeah, like, it just goes back, I just unintentionally said it, but it just it goes back to the nine of fire. Don't give up, Aquarius. This is, that's your thing. Don't give up this week, Aquarius. Just keep pushing through for a little bit longer, and I promise you things are going to start working out for you and really start, yeah, it's going to be beautiful for you. I feel like pulling just one more card for you. I feel like you just need, I just want to give you a hug, Aquarius. <laughs> that's really what I want to do. I just want to give you a healing hug. Um, yeah, for your last card, the koala, number 23, equaling to five for numerology. Write that down for you, Aquarius. But we have the koala card, in our journeys. This is definitely a time, a shadow word for you. A little bit more healing. Um, but things are going to work out for you, Aquarius. I really do promise. I see that for you. This world card, I keep on to add emphasis. I don't normally do this. I felt really drawn to pulling that fourth card, and this is your fourth card. So, like, I'm pointing this out just from like <laughs> someone that would be receiving this reading i really want you to like have it sink in and like develop and just let you know that like spirit pushed it for this card to come forward and, <laughs> and i keep referring to this card again because i really feel like you need to remind yourself aquarius of what it is that you're working for and remind yourself that there's so much beauty coming for you you just need to do a little bit more healing um and the blessings will come to you in your life you know raise your vibration so the energy that you put out there is of a higher vibration and so that way you can also receive a higher vibration i love you so much aquarius you really do got this don't don't give up <laughs> i hope this reading was helpful to you and i can't wait to connect with you again soon aquarius i love you so much bye